everyone, welcome. My name's Veronica and I'm an artist and illustrator and I'm really pleased to have been asked by Poplar Union to come and do your um, weekly art session today. Um, instead I'm going to show you how to do something called a continuous line drawing like this. It's basically a drawing of a place or an object or a series of objects um, which all connect with one line so everything is interjoined together and the only rule is we can't take the pen off the page or start in a new place. What you'll need, um, you can either copy me and draw um, the same picture that I have or you can um, gather some objects that you'd like to use or it could even be you do a drawing of the garden or a room in the house. A good place to start is with some objects. So I've got this little ceramic um, candle holder. It's by an artist called Bird Can Fox and I I think it's, I, yeah, I really love this. I just love all the detail on there and it would make a really nice continuous line drawing just to connect all of these these patterns together. Uh, this is a vintage, I think it's from the 1960s, um, coaster tin. Um, so I'm gonna use elements of that and um, some really nice flowers on there. And then for example, I'm not gonna use this one today, but this would be a nice one, little um, vintage toy deer. Um, and yeah, like I say, plants, pots, crockery, Specifically things with nice um, or detailed patterns on um, work really nicely. You will need a sheet of paper or cardboard, any size is fine. Um, I'm going to use um, these coloured fine liner pens and a black fountain pen. Um, I get on really well with fine liners and coloured fine liners, but if you don't have that, that's fine. Felt tip pens will work, pencil crayons, if not just a pencil, even a biro just do it in one colour that's fine it will still look really good um, that way and what I'm going to do to start I want to I've got a nice big A4 sheet here I really want to fill that up so I'm going to start um, I think with, with my picture here I've done a pink outline I think so it's easier for you to see I'm going to do a black outline this time with my fountain pen easy to see and it'll be quite nice to see the outcomes if I do it this way so I'm doing the beak it's got this lovely kind of crown on its head to which is where the candle normally goes there we go I've got it body down and the idea here is that we're not too fussy so like I say we, we're if we're using pens and we're not and we're connecting everything and it's not designed to look realistic um, or photo real we don't want to start rubbing things out, so sometimes we get quite spontaneous outcomes. We just allow it to form however it forms. There we go. And like I say, it's not designed to be realistic. Okay, I'm going to put the eye in so everything's connecting together with this line. There we go. I'm going to get a bit of colour on here now. I think I'll go with the pink. I started here, so I'm going to follow the line back down. And we've got some lovely pink shapes around the edges. So I'm just going to, I'm going to interpret those as shaded in ovals. And like I say, the aim here isn't to um, create something realistic at all. But what I like to do with mine is to challenge myself to get all of the detail on. Um, it can be quite fun with these to time yourself, maybe start using one colour and time yourself for one minute and then 30 seconds or 20 seconds and it just frees up your creativity as well. So if you're about to do a piece of writing or an artwork, it's a good way to help you see outside the box and get quite spontaneous outcomes. It helps free up your creativity. Some really nice little shapes on this candle holder as well as patterns. Got some little circles in here. There we go. I get a little bit to a green now. Just reinterpreting these. This. Um, bit down the bottom, the kind of spirals. 
making sure that it all connects together with one line. And you can start with one object or more than one object and create your own narrative or story by just incorporating different elements from one another object inside or draw some objects upside down, change the scale. It's all about playing. And it's, again, it's your picture, so you can alter the scale of things, make things bigger or smaller, like I say, change the position. There go. Got a lot of space here I'd like to fill up. We've got some pattern on the duck, so I'm going to incorporate that in. One more thing, I'm just going to put some green petals around these little flowers. Like I say, only rule, everything's got to connect with one line. Everything else you can make as you wish. There we go. And we've done the duck. What I might do is incorporate in some elements of my little tin here. I think I use a black pen and I'll just do this in the background. So you've got some space. So I'm going to do a big flower. It's a big orange flower that's here. It's quite nice. I like the way we've got the line coming off the bird. Here. So it looks as if it's always growing off the bird. Just connecting everything together, even separate parts. There we go, and a little flower here in the center. There we go, and I finished. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today. Please have a go. Like I say, one colour is fine, um, or just a pencil or pen. Um, and here's just a few examples of some other slightly more complex ones I've done that take a bit longer. So where I'm using different plant pots, more than one object, overlapping things, drawing them uh, more than once, drawing multiples. So there's lots of different ways that you can do it. Um, and yeah, just have a play and enjoy, and thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.